the bed bug trap. For demonstration purposes, let's say that this is a bed. And in this bed, you find bed bugs. Bed bugs might be in the seam of the mattress, underneath the sheet. Underneath the mattress or in the box spring, in the legs, anywhere around the bed. And they crawl underneath the sheet until they get to you. And then they feed and they go back out and hide again. When that happens, what you do? Take away the sheets. The bugs are still there. And encase them. Just like you would do with any other vermin. Any bed bugs which are underneath this piece of plastic will be stuck and that will not be able to bite you. So, once it's on the bed, you can sleep on top of it and no bed bugs can get to you. You won't get any bites and you can use it right away. The only thing that I suggest is that you tie down, that you tie down around the bed to hold it in place. And then you can use it just like before with your sheets as long as they do not touch as long as they do not touch the floor or the walls so that any bed bugs that might be on the wall will not be able to have access if you don't make a bridge where they can go directly from here or the wall to the sheet or from the floor up if it touches down the floor. If it touches down the floor, bed bugs will be able to get up. So always make sure that you have gap here and on the side where the walls are so it doesn't touch here. Leave a space. Underneath the bed, you will want to put a bed bug trap. A CO2 generator and a holder of some kind. Could be a bowl, it could be in this case, it's a 35 millimeter film container with a piece of cloth glued on the outside and talcum powder in the inside to make it slippery. The tube goes into this and bed bugs will be attracted to the CO2 which overflows to the floor. They will follow that, easily climb up and fall in, never to get out again. And basically, that's what a bed bug trap is. This works and catches all bed bugs. Bed bugs of all size. Adults, young ones, nymphs, but these ones here. These ones are the babies. It catches the babies as soon as they hatch. They won't even bite once. They all go in the trap. They all go in here. This is the way to get bed bug free. Get rid of them forever. A trap can be made if you follow the recipe. And we'll end up 
it would probably look like this. You have the CO2 generator, which is a two liter bottle, with a hole in the cap and covered with a sheet of plastic, holding it down with anything, a string, tape, in my case, in this case, I use a simple elastic band. This goes into a soup bowl with a skirt and it's easy for the bed bugs to climb up and once they reach the edge they fall into it. This is covered with talcum powder or baby powder and this makes the most efficient and the least expensive bed bug trap in the world. The trap, the same trap, you can replace the plastic sheet with a tubing. You can replace the plastic sheet here with a tubing. The tubing goes into the bowl. So the CO2 is produced by the bottle, goes down the tube, fills the bowl, overflows to the floor, and from there will attract bed bugs which will easily climb up and fall into the trap. To make it look better, you can cover it up with a sock from which I cut off the toe and I just simply slip it over like so and then it looks better than plastic but this is the basic one you can have two of them and it will, it will take care of a room if you put them underneath the bed. Now if there is not enough space under, underneath the bed instead of a two liter bottle you can use four smaller ones for the same two liter. This can go in a soup bowl but this cannot. So you can make your own with a pizza box from which you measure the space taken by a bottle, cut it out, take it out, and put a piece of plastic straight right on it, put bottles back in and glue it to the outside and then after that put a skirt or some cloth around it so the trap with four with four or five hundred millimeters bottles will look like this this is the same trap just a different way of doing it. A trap can also look like this. It's a juice jar and a cup. And a cup. With a piece of cloth glued at the back. And the tubing goes right over the cup. Again, CO2 will flow down, will be produced by the bottle, will go into the tube, tubing, and down and fill the cup. It will overflow it and run down to the floor. 
bed bugs will be attracted to the CO2 and will easily climb up and fall into it never to come out again. This is a different look but it, it is the same trap. This is not a trap. Tupperware 2 liter with a tube. CO2 is produced here, fills the bowl, overflows, attracts the bed bugs, they go right into it, and that's it, no more bed bugs. This is also a trap. It's a container, and you can find in the kitchen, so I don't know, something from household products. And it's a cup, it's got a tubing, and it's a cup with a skirt. Just a little cup. Egg cup. For boiled eggs. Another, another bed of crap. Made from sugar, yeast, and water. Of course, it's handy to have talcum powder and glue, nail polish. But this is glue. Eh? Elastic bands, there are uh, some tubing, cloth, plastic, you know, this is a uh, garbage uh, bag but for leaves, you know, the orange one, you have, they're big. You can tape them together to make a large sheet of plastic that can be found for one dollar, 12 feet by nine feet to cover the bed. Or you can make your own with plastic. Any, 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 any plastic bag will do. So, you will end up with Sorry. With your bed. Covered with plastic and a CO2 trap underneath it. And this will get, will take care of all the bed bars, get, we'll get rid of all of them. Here, need a little cup. Two weeks, no more bed bugs. Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs>